Host and legal analyst at the Law and Crime Network, Terry Austin, joins me live for more on this. Terry, thanks so much for being here. Uh, defamation, famously difficult to prove, and that was kind of the conversation when this trial began a very long six weeks ago before a whole lot of testimony. You say you were not surprised by their conclusion here. Why is that? I think there's no other conclusion. All of the evidence that went in showed that Amber was lying. She had pictures that didn't really show any evidence if he had really been hitting her, punching her, kicking her the way she said. He wore rings all the time. She would really have damages on her body, and we didn't see any of that. So I think the evidence she's talking about didn't amount to any sort of battery and so she lost her claim the jury simply did not believe her I mean there's a way to look at this on paper legally as saying they were both right they both won their defamation case but this is clearly a win for Johnny Depp right absolutely he won all of his defamation claims and that's what he said was important to him to make sure that no one really believes that he is an abuser and that was what the jury said you did not abuse her you didn't do all these things you didn't sexually assault her and and that's what the message was, that you've vindicated yourself, you have a reputation, you can go back and do what you were doing, and we still care about you. She did win that one small claim, as you mentioned, for $2 million. Mm -hmm. But basically, that was a statement by Adam Waldman, who is the attorney for Depp. And he basically was saying it was a hoax. And it was a very small verdict. And you know, as far as Johnny's concerned, that really doesn't have that much to do with him and his reputation. Mm -hmm. I mean, it certainly speaks to the size and the money involved in this case when the small claim is the $2 million dollar one. Johnny Depp's now owed north of $10 million here. Is Amber Heard going to end up having to pay that full amount? Well, she will be responsible for paying that full amount. And if they have to go after her wages, they will do so. If they have to pay it in installments, they can do that as well. I thought it was interesting that when the verdict form first came back, they didn't have an amount for compensatory and punitive damages. Mm -hmm. The jury actually forgot to put that in, and the judge had to instruct them, look, you found defamation, you have to go back and fill it in. So the amounts they came back with, $10 million for him, and then the $5 million punitive, which was reduced to 350 mm -hmm. because of the statute. And then the 2 million for her. I think those are numbers they thought out of their head, what is reasonable? And yeah. they thought that those amounts might be reasonable. Any chance of a settlement? I doubt that very seriously. I think, you know, the parties are going to probably not have to worry about the payment because they can do some long-term agreement okay. as far as the payment's concerned. But I think out of principle, Johnny should make her pay. I mean, he doesn't have to really pay because he really got the larger award, obviously, the $10 million, and she owes him two. Um, or she owes him 10 and he owes her two. So at the end of the day, it's it's $8 million that he's going to get. Right. So um, I definitely think that they'll string it out, but I don't think they're going to come to any other mm -hmm. number other than what was given by the jury. Amber Heard's attorneys are already planning uh, on an appeal. They say that they'll appeal if Amber Heard keeps these attorneys. That's uh, right. What do you think of her chances? Yeah, I mean, she could get different attorneys for the appeal. She has already signaled that she will do an appeal, I think her chances are very slim because there were no reversible errors. The judge was excellent in this case. She allowed testimony in, she kept testimony out, and she was favorable for both sides. So I don't think you're going to find anything that she can appeal upon. It's not very often that we get to see a giant case like this play out live on TV. Obviously, there was tons of testimony, mountains of evidence, to quote Amber Heard. Do you think there was a key moment that maybe turned the tides here, or was it just overwhelming evidence overall. I, I think both. I think it was overwhelming, but there were a couple of moments that Amber, when she was on the stand, I think the jury had to take notice of that. And we really didn't make a big deal of it. One of it was when she said, oh, well, the reason I wrote that article was because Johnny Depp is so powerful. The whole point was you said that wasn't about him. Mm -hmm. So I think that was a pivotal moment in the trial. Okay, Terry Austin, we appreciate your time and your expertise. Thanks so much for coming in today. Thanks, Trevor. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.